Hi, and welcome to the first video on a series of videos on SAS. In this video, we will cover how to install SAS on your computer, as well as how to get started using SAS. So here I have a simple example to show you what SAS is. On the left, we have the SAS code. On the right, we have the CSS code. In the background, we have a watch running, which is continually looking for any changes in the style.scss file. We will go into more detail on how to set up a watch later. When we make a change to the style.css file and press save, the CSS file will be updated too. So let's add a new line, text align, center, and save the file and the CSS will be updated. Now let's go to the SAS website. Go to Google and type in SAS, then go to the first link, At the home page of the SAS website, go to the Install tab. So if you scroll down a bit, you will see the installation instructions for both the Mac and the Windows. Both will use the same commands to install. However, if you are on a Windows, you will first need to install Ruby. Just click on the Ruby installer and then follow the download instructions. If you are on a Mac, Ruby comes pre-installed on your computer, so you don't need to download and install Ruby at all. I'm not going to go into depth on installing Ruby in this video. Going back to the SAS web page, we can see that there are two commands we need to use. The first is the sudo gem install sas command. You should use this one over the just the gem install sas command. This is because you may or may not have permission to just use gem install sas on your computer. The second command we, ne we need to use is sas-v. This command will just confirm that we have installed SAS by telling us the version of SAS that is installed on the computer. Both of these commands will need to be run in the terminal window. To do this, open up the Spotlight search and type in terminal and hit enter and this will open up a terminal window. In this terminal window, just type in sudo gem install SAS and hit enter. You will be prompted for your password. This password will be the same as the password used to log into the computer. It might look like you are not typing anything, but don't worry, you are. Once you successfully entered your password, SAS will begin installing. Give it a moment to finish. Then you can check that SAS is installed by typing the second command SAS-V. The most recent version is Selective Steve, so SAS is now installed on the computer. Let's now jump back to our text editor and look at how to set up a watch as well as go over the basic example on SAS. So I'm first going to create a new folder on my desktop and call it SAS. I will then open up this folder in my text editor. In this folder, I will create a new file and call it style.scss. This will be the file that we type our code into. Now in order for the style.scss file to be converted into a style.css file, we need to set up a watch. This needs to be done in the terminal window again. So open up the terminal window and type in cd, which stands for change directory, then a space, followed by desktop slash sas. This is the path to the style.scss file we just created. Now we can set up a watch by typing sas space, minus sign, minus sign, watch, space, style, dot, scss, colon, style, dot, css, and hit enter. You will now have a watch running on that style, dot, scss file, and whenever the computer sees that there has been a change to that file, it will update the style, dot, css file. You should now see a new file in your SAS folder called style, dot, css. So if we go into the style.scss file, we can type in some code and do a simple test. Body, background color, and just all white. Now drag the style.css file, which should be empty at this point, so that you can see both of the windows at the same time. Then save the style.scss file, and the style.css file should be updated. Also, if you go back to the terminal window, you will see that the watch ran when you saved your file. That's it for this video. Please don't forget to subscribe so you can stay up to date on all my videos. 
And if you found this video helpful, please share it with others so they can learn something too.